A Wilkinsburg woman whose confrontation and arrest by a police officer or earlier this year outside a North for Sales movie theater was in court today. You may recall the video of Melanie Carter's arrest quickly went viral and it was Facebook and it has been viewed more than a million times. Today, the police officer who arrested Carter was himself confronted by dozens of the women's supporters outside the district mag magistrate's office where the hearing was held. Ralph Iannotti has the story. Melanie Carter wasn't alone today when she showed up for a court hearing in North for Sales. She was joined by a group of supporters, some of them carrying signs. Carter's controversial arrest last February at a North for Sales movie theater by an off-duty police officer working theater security was captured on video. The theater manager had asked Carter to leave, but she refused. She spoke up, complaining when she saw a group of black teenagers who were being escorted out of the theater by the officer for allegedly causing a disturbance. The officer, Christopher Kelly, told Carter not to interfere. Kelly handcuffed her and charged her with resisting arrest, failure to disperse, disorderly conduct, and defiant trespass. I'm here to demand that the charges be dropped against her because it is not illegal in the United States of America to film police officers. That is your First Amendment right. We're demanding justice for her. Clearly she was being discriminated against and the young people at the theater were being discriminated against. Carter won a partial victory in court today when the judge agreed to drop several of the charges she was originally accused of. We got the disorderly, one of the disorderly conduct charges dismissed. We got the refusal to disperse charge dismissed and now we move forward to the full trial. Usually these cases get waved up to a higher court anyway, so um, I think that, you know, in all we got some of them dropped, you know, we're going to continue this fight. After the hearing, Officer Kelly was confronted by Carter's supporters as he left the magistrate's office. No trial date for Carter has been set. In the days following the theater confrontation, the 35-year-old manager was first suspended with pay and then he was fired. Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.